Well, I'm here with Richard from the one and only Filter today. Thank you so much for giving us time. Thank to, you for uh, having to me. I appreciate it. I, I can't tell you how cool this is for me to be talking to you. Like awesome. You know, it's uh, it's awesome. I'm I'm excited. You mentioned wanting to you know get yourselves kind of get back out there. Yeah. Um, what what I guess what other approach would you be taking differently right now? Oh, I, I think I think that that was prim primarily the only thing that I would would uh, would suggest is to kind of relaunch the the record with the, mm -hmm. with, the uh, with a better single sure. that's that's actually got market research and then I and I I I just do as many TV shows as possible and and of course touring. Do you think since there's uh, there are so many more options for everybody to just lit, just take in, you know, if they want to hear anything or download anything, they can just do it instantly. Is it kind of pushing more create creativity, or is it? You yeah, know? I mean, you know, for us, it's like okay, we did a record, Anthems for the Damned, and it was a tribute. After I, I worked on this record, Army of Anyone, we worked on it for like a year and a half, mm -hmm. and like it was this big, huge thing, and it took like three or four years, and it was like. So I had to like learn how to make records really quickly and mm -hmm. cheaply. And so, and see, the thing is, the sad thing is, is the rest of the world, economically, mm -hmm. is moving on. And right. our world has changed into this thing of like, well, if we can't, if we can't make records the way we want to make them, what are we doing? So you have to be, you have to show up with like a shovel and a and a and a, and a spade and just be like, I'm here to f work. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not drinking and having and, and like like this whole thing with Nickelback and all these dancers and strippers and everything. It's mm -hmm. like I'm glad someone's having fun because the rest of us are working our asses off. Like yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, you know, it's it's been a uh, it's been quite the journey from 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 short bus to now. Um, you know, you've you've mentioned before that uh, that you've you've gone to rehab. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And uh, so what what is that? Uh, what has that taught you? Alcoholism and drug abuse. Mm -hmm. It's, 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 you're the last one to know. It's, it, and it's bizarre because it's a mental illness, obviously. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you've ever seen the show Intervention, I mean, right. it's, yeah. it's just, and that's what, that's where I was. I was waking up at seven o'clock in the morning, hung over mm -hmm. and dreading what I had done as an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. And I'd wake up and I'd be like, ah, oh, God, my head's killing me. I'm going to have a beer because you know, we all learned that the thing, hair you know, the hair of the dog mm -hmm. thing. And then the next thing you know, 10 o'clock in the morning, you're friggin' wasted, <laughs> you know, oh, calling yeah. your mom like, yeah, there's nothing wrong, what's up? Uh -huh. You know, and it's just, it's it's a, it's a terrible thing. But it, it's, I've been sober for, I'm coming up on nine years. Oh, that's, I don't know if you can see that. Awesome, that's so awesome, congratulations, that's great. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, for me, I just was humble enough to know like, okay, Mm -hmm. Normal people don't drink like you. Dude. Mm -hmm. How uh, like how does it feel to know that like your your experiences and how you're able to you know pull yourself out of this, you know you're inspiring other people out there to at least try to do the oh, same man, thing. Oh I've, man, I've, I've had the probably one of the greatest things that's come of my recovery mm -hmm. is uh, there's this um, one kid who wrote me on MySpace and mm -hmm. he said. I'm, I'm 17, I've been arrested three times for DUI, I'm gonna wow. lose my license, and I'm gonna like, and, and I, I just, I have absolutely no control. I drink by myself in my room, I drink a bottle of vodka by myself yeah. every night, and he's only 17 years old. <laughs> that kid got a scholastic scholarship uh, to the school of his choice by the state. He's now, he's only like 22 years old, 23 years old, and he's 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 uh, he's he's studying to be a doctor. Like wow. like he's already already finished all of normal college, and wow. and like he's only been to college like two years, and he's already in med school. That's incredible. And he's in Mensa. Wow. And it's and it's like, I'm like wow. I, I was the one the last little thing that kind of said like, dude, you're you're an alcoholic. Get together. You know that that to me was worth my entire experience of being Absolutely. an alcoholic because he's still the biggest filter fan. You know, I've had a really rough couple of years. Of, there's been a like a like a, a family huge family emergency with oh, my man. the kids that I was the, the guys that I grew up with. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, it's 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 shaken the foundation of like you know, everything that oh, I know yeah. is real. Yeah. And um, 
you know, you just have to keep marching through it. Mm -hmm. And and so when I'm when I'm talking about being hurt or trust or things like that, I have, you know, I have every complete, I have every right to say that I've been wronged. I have every right to say that I've I've been in pain. I have, every, and it's coming from a perspective of not necessarily where like a 17-year-old singer, when he says he's in pain, it's kind of hard to believe. Right. You know what I mean? Rock music, it, it seems like rock music's taken a pummeling by pop and, and all this other stuff. And I, I just feel like, you know, maybe it's, <clears throat> maybe it's because it's about, you know, strippers and booze and maybe, maybe that kind of yeah. rock Michelle star. And... Thanks again. It was Thank really you. nice to it's meet nice you. Nice meeting you, and it's great. It's great being here at this little coffee shop. I, yeah, I dig it. Good I like the bouquet. Sure. Yeah, yeah. The fresh bouquet.